Well, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Um, as promised, got a lot of people asking me to do a side-by-side -side comparison for the A95K right here on the right versus the S95B here on the left. Um, so I'm just going to do some just gaming experience um, and uh, just want to you know show you guys like what it looks like and just try to tell you from my perspective of what the game looks like i'm going to be playing gotham knights i feel like that game is really vivid has a lot of uh just a lot of colors and different uh, variety in it and um you know it's just a nice game to show off um, when you do this type of comparison so um if you have any other questions or anything like that please let me know if there's any a certain way you want me to have the settings or anything like that let me know any suggestions or anything so um but you know right now they're pretty much just uh, standard and uh have the color all the way up um just to get some pop and uh i you know i again i'm not a pro i don't know how to really set up these tvs i just try to set it up the way i personally like them and you know i like a lot of color i like a lot of pop um, I like a lot of color saturation when I'm playing video games, um, and uh, when I'm playing casually, I really can I, I really don't care too much about you know the the latency and uh, things like that and VRR being on. Um, I just really like the uh, I like just playing for fun. I mean, when I'm playing competitively, I'll I'll uh, obviously uh, play differently if I'm playing like an FPS or basically uh, you know uh, any any type of shooting game online or fighting games or anything like that like if i was playing mortal kombat 11 um, but right now i just kind of want to show you guys how it looks so um, i'm going to turn off the lights so you can get a better idea how it looks like in the dark as you can see uh, this is the s95b and i'm sorry if it looks a little blown out or anything in the video but um, that's basically kind of what the main menu looks like. And here goes the A95K. It's kind of, I know it's hard to tell, um, but definitely, um, no matter, I feel like no matter which way you set it up, when you come to, uh, the S95B, you, it just has more color saturation like certain colors um just are definitely more saturated than others but like if you uh, i'll do a, a try to do a close-up over here so if you look really close it's kind of hard to tell but um see like right here is more like pink and then when you go to the s95b I think it's a little bit more red. I don't know if you can really tell. But um, as far as sound quality goes, too, I mean, they're both 60 watt. Um, but like I said, the A95K just has this 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 punch to it that you can't beat. And, uh, you know, um, the S95B, I think in my personal opinion, it, it has like more of like a stereo sound to it. So, again, you know, that's in the eyes of the beholder, I would say. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start the game. And then uh, you'll see the intro here. As you can see. just gonna log in but you know in the mean just tell me what you guys opinions are um if you can please i really appreciate it i can use some help too in the way uh things get set up um only because you know again i'm not a i am not a pro and um i like these two tvs and i see the differences between them um and it really everyone i know everyone's different me personally i went i bought the the a95k 
after the S95B. I just couldn't help it. I was like, I got to know what this TV is all about because, um, you know, <clears throat> it's like the hype was just insane. And um, like now that I have it, it's even though the picture quality is not too, too much, I can see why people would get the A95K over the S95B. Like the motion processing is is just next to none. Um, but I just want to show you guys something really quick before I even get into it. So like, I don't know if you can tell, but you see like the background here, how like kind of blue it is. Let me try to come over here and see. I don't know if you can tell, but you see how it's like more green? So, so this one, you see it's more blue. And then this one's a little bit lighter, you see? Like just, just little things like that, you know what I mean? And again, it's all relative, but all right. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to put this down just so you guys can uh, see. So I'm going to try to stand that up. All right. Hopefully that works. <clears throat> okay. So, again, another thing that I notice is when you're playing, um, Like, looking around, like if you notice the, uh, like the background, like you, if you see, um, I don't know if you can tell, but see like the covers over those objects in the background, those like plastic covers or whatever they are, almost like it's like covering a car. Um, the one on the right, it has a more like teal green to it. I almost feel like that's probably the more natural one. The one on the left is more of is like a saturated like moonlight blue. So I don't know if like you can tell, but we're gonna put the volume up, um, and then we'll just start over here. there we're good no. I'm just gonna do some walking around or actually let's talk to her some seriously sketchy shit in that guy's lab find anything at the construction site nothing place was totally cleaned out looks like somebody shut it down hoping that drive you brought back will have some answers Damn thing's gonna take forever to decrypt. We should be out there, doing something. Finding whoever did this to Langstrom. Jason, you and I both know what can happen when you rush into a case without all the information. Can you guys really tell that the, on the S95B, her bat symbol looks this. almost more like yellowish-orange versus the one on her right? Finance looks actually yellow? What Bruce had told me. Did you not trust me? But Jason, you can also tell that the A95 key might be a slightly more him. dim. And when he did, he turned to you. Of I don't course, know if you guys can tell. You. And so do I. But I, I don't know what else to say besides. Either way you go, look how just look how beautiful it is. Like look at look at the colors. Look at look at the way they pop. I mean, I think for most people it really wouldn't matter. Um, you know, like most people won't be able to tell the difference, but if you really were on a, to choose between one or the two and you can only choose between one or two, 
obviously the way to go would mo would be most likely the S95B only because picture quality is not too different you know so And then, um, okay, so yeah, I get it. All right. But yeah, so that's my opinion on the whole thing. So, like, if you're really gonna have to only choose between one or the other, like, which one would you choose? If you had, let's just say you had the money for um, the A95K, because we all know that one's more expensive. We all know that, I mean, right now it's on sale for $3,000. Um, it did start at four when it first released. But right now, uh, also, you can get the S95B for I think it's $1,900, $1,899. So if you had a choice and money was no object, would you pick the A95K or the S95B? Um, some people, honestly, if money was no object and I could only choose one, I like the A95K, but I like, I'm big on sound quality um, I know a lot of people aren't. A lot of people just use headphones too when they play. Um, but when I'm watching like TV and things like that, you know, I am, um, I, I am very, uh, I feel like the picture quality and the sound quality have to match. You know what I mean? Like they have to be on the same level. Cause I feel like if you have a really good picture quality, and horrible sound quality coming out the speakers. It really just has a negative effect on your experience when you're watching, and vice versa too. What if you have really good sound and horrible image quality? I mean, the experience is not gonna be as good. So I think as far as that, the overall experience goes, I feel like the A95K has its, uh, you know, its, its match. I mean, it's, uh, its qualities and you pick pick that but at the same time if you're just strictly a gamer and believe me when I tell you the S95B in a lot of cases is probably even better just because I mean I'm talking just as far as image quality but look at the colors right there I mean look at that so that's all I'm trying to basically explain you know? Um, and another thing is like, I notice myself really, when I'm playing, really kind of gravitate, gravitate towards the S95B as far as the, the, like the speed, like, but, when I'm looking at the A95K, all I can see is uh, just smoothness and more pop and, you know? So again, everyone's different. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to point out the differences that I notice. Again, I'm sorry I'm not like a professional and getting all technical or anything like that. I'm just really just trying to show you guys just like how they both look yeah. side by side. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm trying to do. And um, if there's any particular settings or anything that you guys want me to uh, do samples on, please let me know. I'll, I'll do them right away. So, And uh, just wanted to uh, show you guys basically how it looks. No, I'm not staying here. Okay, let's go to an area where there's more colors. But yeah. So if you look around, like, look at that. Like, 
the A95K just has this pop to it that once you're just like engaged, I mean, look at it. And then the S95B definitely has that pop, but it just doesn't have that contrast to me in my personal opinion. Again, personal preference. Like I notice um, in a lot of scenes, like especially the dark scenes, you'll see like right here, watch. Just come a little bit, it's a little bit darker right here. Like if you look at the S95B, you see how it's just like a little bit brighter? And then you look at the A95K, like look at the floor, like how it's darker than the S95B. But again, that's a personal preference thing. Like me personally, I like the A95K a little bit better because it seems like it just has more contrast. You know what I mean? Um, but everyone's different. Like I said, I know I keep saying that. So I'm just kind of roaming around and just to show you guys what everything looks like. So what do you guys think? You know, you tell me. Uh, I mean, does anyone that's watching have any of these TVs at all? Uh, or have any suggestions on, you know, what to compare it to? Or, you know? I mean, that's, you know. What do you guys think? Like... this dark scene right here like all right so like if you look around like you see how like the shadows are darker the the floor on the right is darker than the S95B so like i feel like that's a little bit more realistic you know what i mean but if you look at like the light See that light against the wall right there? Like you see how on the S95B though it definitely has more like highlight, like more specular highlight than the A95K. So some people would prefer that more, you know. To me, I like it, don't get me wrong. And most people like would you really even notice the difference unless they were side by side. Pro side by side, probably not, but what I'm trying to basically say is like, it's it's funny how they share the same panel, but they have their own different algorithm or their own system on how they want their picture to look on their system, on their uh, on their processing. So it's really cool how like they can take the same technology and kind of make it their own way. It's really cool. So um, so either you really can't go wrong either way. You know, you really just simply just cannot. Um, like, look at the detail in the window. Like, when you look at the S95B, see how, like, the reflection is just, like, brighter than the A95K? But the A95K is, like, because it's darker, it, like, the reflection is darker and the coloring is a little bit darker, it still does, like, have a more contrast look to it. I, I don't know, it's just hard to explain. Um, so, you know, er everything's different. What I do notice is like, watch when I move up and down. You notice how like, the S95B is more responsive? 
You see that? Look at that latency. Look. So that's what everybody's talking about when they talk about, um, you know, the response time and stuff when it comes to gaming. So, do you really notice it when you're casually gaming? No. Um, you probably notice it a lot more if you were, uh, you know, if you were gaming more competitively, obviously. So, but this game to me is a game you really want to just play casually, you know? So, I love it. I mean, for me, you know, I saved enough money so I can get the A95K. And um, what I'm also going to do is I also have a G2. Uh, I have an 83-inch G2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison on that too. Or uh, just to, um, I don't know if it's going to be a side-by-side, -side, but just to show you guys what I personally think about that too. So, um, because I know that's kind of like the happy medium for everyone. It's got all the gaming features. Um, it's got the, you know, the response times, the latencies and all that. But um, I know it's not QD OLED technology, but it still is, um, uh, you know, the, the newer version of OLED. And um, I know it's brighter than the previous OLEDs. And that's why I got it, because I, I traded out a CX-10 and um, got the, uh, got the uh, G2 to replace that. And uh, I'll tell you, just, it, it, there is an experience. It, it is different. So. sky, like, look at the pop, if you notice, like, even in the sky, like, look at the, look at how, like, on the right, definitely looks more natural, on the left, has a more saturated look, and I know a lot of people, when they're gaming, they really want saturation, they want the colors to be gradient, they want them to pop, they want more color, but, you know, just look at the picture difference, I mean, look, you do have some sacrifices if you get more pop, I feel. Um, and uh, I feel like you do have a little bit of more sacrifices when the screen's a little bit brighter because you lose that contrast. So even though the S95B is slightly brighter, um, the A95K is right there pretty much on par with it and does have a little bit more contrast, that's, that's for sure. But again, you know, when you talk about latency and when you talk about response time, I mean, look, you can just tell the, uh, when you go back and forth, look at that, that, uh, you know, the S95B definitely has that, uh, that response time down, you know, I mean, and it shows it, and you know, it's on paper and you should, and it, and it definitely shows, so. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, please. I hope uh, you hit a like on this video. Um, and um, if you have any questions, any other comparisons you want me to do, any settings that you want me to with, that you want me to uh, kind of put on for you, uh, please let me know. And uh, thanks again. I can't uh, thank you enough. Um, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys as a regular person that, you know, this is uh, what they look like and um, side by side. And I wish uh, I knew more. I wish I knew like and can speak like the professionals and stuff like that and on how um, and get uh, those statistics in. But, you know, this, I think, um, kind of speaks for itself, you know, just showing you um, in real life and uh, as a regular person. So... And um, if you guys have any uh, comments, please let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, do my best to get back to everyone. And um, 
That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much, um, and uh, have a good one.